What is up guys, in today's video I'm making some colorful powder for daylight fireworks. This could also be used as holy powder or that powder that they throw for photography, for parties, etc. So 400 grams right there. Here I have five different colors. I'm using uh, powder food coloring. This is just cornstarch, 400 grams. This is green color, blue color, red color, yellow color and uh, black color. Uh, some of them do not look like the colors I mentioned, but when they are mixed with water, it becomes the actual green, for example. It's pretty messy thing, so you better put some gloves on. Make sure you change your clothes, because this is going to get messy. Like magic. I can only tell you this is going to be fucked up. How the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Bruh. I need to put it on a tray so it dries. That'll be also a pain. And better option to do is to mix the color in water and then pour it in this crazy mixture. Alright, I'll let this dry and make other ones. I think it's much better to do it this way. It's probably gonna be grey powder, we'll see. Camera is showing like purple and I'm seeing here blue and grey. It's much easier to do it like this. Just put like two parts cornstarch, also two halves of water. Probably gonna take much more to dry out, but I'm not dealing with the Doblock mixture. Even though it seems purple on the camera, it's grey, trust me. Yeah, this is much better for us. I'll put it back in this one, so I can make another mix. Blue one. There it is. It's the next day and it's not fully dry but it's getting there. I let it dry on the sun on my window and all of the colors are correct. That's the first sign of drying of course. So I don't have Ziploc bags, I will use just regular plastic bags and just tie them down. So the charcoal is definitely better color than this. It's a good thing that this powder is not really fluffy and flying all around. So I really like how the green one turned out. Pretty good vibrance. Look at those pieces. So satisfying. So if it's still wet like this pink one, just use a spatula because it doesn't want to blend in the blender. These are the ones that had a bit more moisture when I made them and that moisture didn't evaporate that easily as the ones that I had smaller amount of moisture. color is so far the best. Here is the yellow one. In comparison to the green one, there it is. It's still pretty damp so I just need to dry them even more and should be good. So it was pretty much the whole night and the whole day on the window since I grinded it 
and now feels pretty dry. I will blend it and pack it. We have green, gray, blue, yellow and pink. All of these colors are just gorgeous and yeah, black is actually gray but it's not a problem since I can always use some charcoal but I will use it as gray. So for a quick little test I will go outside and sprinkle a bit so we can see what kind of colors we can get in the air. And for much detailed tests of these and test of these in fireworks subscribe to my channel and we'll see what we can do with them. But I'm pretty sure we can do some crazy stuff with these crazy colorful folders. And all of this costed me around let's say five dollars for two kilograms of different colors which is I think pretty good deal. All right let's test this out. It's pretty windy right now so not really good conditions for testing. So I would say 9 out of 10. <laughs> 